Hey guys, it's oh why did I cut? Sorry. Hey guys, it's Titus, and we are back with another video. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification bell wherever it is over there. And today, what we're talking about, what we're doing is we're going to react slash praise my girl Candace Owens. I'm in love with her, not in love. She's married and has a kid, and that's fine. But you guys need to stay tuned because we are playing a video where someone asked her what her opinion is on LGBTQ plus seven to the third power times eleven. So stay tuned. Here we are. Let's roll the tape. Pride Month. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I am interested in the LBGTQIARSTUV movement because it just, they have this amazing ability to just extend, right? So at first it's like LGB, and then they're like, actually, no, LGBT. And they're like, no, actually, LBGTQ. I stopped learning after the LBGT what these things mean. LBGTQI, and it's similar with their celebrations, right? So first it was the parade, then it was like, actually, we need a whole day. And then the whole day turned into a whole week. And now it's LBGTQIA month. Um, so I guess my opinion is, when is it going to become the whole year? And who is behind extending this into perpetuity? Um, of course, I think it's foolish. I think it's nonsense. And a lot of it is driven by politics. And it's not you know, really about, obviously, uh, anything that's actually happening in this country or real fear. Um, so it's it's... To me, it's, it's getting ridiculous, and I'm not a huge fan of it, but I tend to ignore it because there's randomly a holiday in a day for absolutely everything. All right, guys, so we're back, and we just saw the video with Candace. Um, she, she's so funny. LGBTQ, STUV, whatever she said, the melody, that was funny she was singing. Anyways, Candace is awesome, we know that. Um, but basically, I kind of hold a similar stance to her. Like, that's not something I'm going to be talking about all the time. But I just thought I would get it out right now because people are going to ask me eventually, what is your opinion on this? And I would just say my opinion on LGBTQ plus times the 12 third power to the infinity and beyond, uh, Buzz Lightyear style, is whatever this thing says, I follow. And for everyone to ask a Christian or ask someone to be controversial, what do you think about homosexuality or the LGBT community, what do you think? And you know what the answer is, you're just trying to trap them in something. And I believe what the Bible says on that. And so that's how I am. But let's just talk about Candace's reaction, her hilarious comedic responses to everything. How she was saying how it turned from a day to a week. Now it is a month. I don't know why I'm doing one, two, three. And then eventually she's right, they'll probably be trying to turn it into a year, but it just, it's, it's not necessary. <clears throat> no month is necessary. None of these things are necessary. Black History Month and, and Pride Month. It's like you say, let's do un unify everyone, but then divide by giving people months dedicated to them and therefore excluding everyone else while trying to be inclusive. That doesn't make sense to me. I could be missing it. There's something maybe I'm missing, but it doesn't make sense to me. And Candace is like, everything she says is just, I love Candace. Legit. Candace is like, Candace Owens, I could, this video could just be me saying Candace Owens, Candace Owens, I love Candace Owens because she's amazing, Candace Owens. But um, anyways, <clears throat> my, uh, I just want to get that out of the way. I know people say like homosexuality is not in the Bible. Well, I should have looked this up before I said this video, yes. But there's scriptures talking about man laying with a man, woman and a woman. Like it's I think how it's wrong, how saying like sleeping with your cousin and your brother and sleeping with your father's daughter or father's daughter, whatever. There's a bunch bunch of things in the Old Testament and in the, the New about this not being biblical, not being right. And it, when God tells us something's wrong in the Bible, it's not because he's trying to punish us or make us not have pleasure or have fun or be able to have a good time. It's for our benefit. It's because we weren't created for that purpose. He created us for a purpose. And anything outside of that is not of him. And so and not something that he created you for. And it, you, like, just like with anything, whoever created the TV, whoever created roller courses, whoever created whatever they created, created it for a purpose. And if it's being used outside of that purpose, then it's not being used correctly. And that's how we are supposed to be with God. We are his, the body of Christ. We are supposed to be living how he created us to live. And so those are my opinions. I guess we can go into more detail. Yes, I could say other reasons for why, but it's just, we don't need to have a whole, I'm not trying to like attack anybody. I'm just trying to say, this is what Bible says on it. We were created for a purpose. The purpose is to glorify and live for him, to bring people into the kingdom of God. And the LGBT community is not um, something I support. I don't support it. I support the people. I love you and I respect, as a, as a, like, there's a degree to respect. And I respect you as a human. I respect you as a life that is worth living, of a life that God loves and, and we should love and everyone should love. But I don't, I don't support 
the decision to practice homosexuality. And I won't. I won't go anything that goes against God. I won't go anything that goes against I won't support anything that goes against God. And I thought I'd just get that out of the way. I know I've said that. I just thought I'd get that out of the way like 1,200 times already. But just thought I'd get it out of the way. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, this is like a really short video again. But I don't really... Um, I couldn't, I was trying to think, what should I talk about? What should I talk about? Uh, should I grab another Candace video? Should I grab another Kamala video? Or not Candace video, I meant Joe. Should I grab another video and just roast somebody? But I didn't feel like roasting today. I just felt like explaining maybe a little bit how I feel about stuff. And getting to get you guys, getting to get you guys, wow, I can't speak. Trying to get you guys to understand me, how I am, why I am the way I am, and just see my personality a little bit. So that is this video as well. It's kind of reaction video. It's kind of just me fangirling over Candace. So, and I'm looking at it. She's awesome. So, again, guys, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell. Also, comment things that you would want me to talk about. Things that you want to know more about. Things that you would want me to look into, and maybe just come learn from you guys as well, and just speak out on it. Anything. I want. I want to. I can sing. I got, I'm a worship leader at my church. I can sing a song. I actually wrote a song on abortion. If you guys want to hear that one. <laughs> your pro-choice you might not like it but hey maybe it'll turn you so anyways again subscribe to the youtube channel hit the notification bell wherever it is on the screen and be sure to follow me on instagram titus underscore ellis underscore smith be sure to follow me on tiktok titus dot ellis dot smith or period whatever you want to do dot period either or it's interchangeable be sure to check it out because i have a lot of stuff on there i'm gonna start posting more on here and we're just trying to get this social media going so Love you guys. Peace out.